Who am I? There's going to be times that you will question yourself about who you are inside. What makes you so special? What makes you stand out? Who am I? That is the question. This is a daily question. What exactly am I supposed to be doing with my life? Because I know there was a time when I was doing so well. But as soon as the bad things started to happen in my life, I started to second guess myself. I started saying to myself, what am I doing wrong? Who am I? What am I? What am I supposed to be doing? How come I can't get over this hump? This is when you got to stop being lazy and start being more creative. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Do you believe in yourself? You don't have to be a carbon copy of someone for people to see you and know you and respect you. You don't need anyone to validate who you are. You don't need anyone to have that much power to tell you how to think about yourself. We've all been in that position where we wanted approval. We've been in that position where we wanted to feel loved and appreciated. The question is, ladies and gentlemen, do you feel appreciated within yourself? Are you pleased with yourself? You don't have time to be faking it till you make it. If something has already been done, do something else. Don't be a rerun, be a new episode. Can you be different? Can you be something that no one has ever seen before? What am I? What is my purpose? Why am I living? Why am I walking this earth at this moment right now? Do I understand my true nature? What exactly am I supposed to be doing with my life? Sometimes things are going to go good. And sometimes things are not going to go so good. Things that we are experiencing in our daily activities, they are so unpredictable. You don't have time to be second guessing yourself. It's true. We do get to a point in our minds that we think less of ourselves because something just didn't work out. We feel that we have to chase somebody else's dreams and their success to make us feel better. That we got to be a carbon copy of someone else so that we can take credit for something that has already been done. But we're too lazy to just say, you know what, I'm gonna make as many mistakes that I can until I figure this out within myself and create something that no one has ever heard or seen before. I mean, let's think about it. There are people that you see that you may admire right now. They had to have a humble beginning. Some people laughed at them because they had an idea and no one believed in that idea. But that person kept working, kept thriving, kept making mistakes, was talked about. Even at times they gave up because they allowed outside interference to come into their world. They allowed people and circumstances to betray them. 
but they were really honestly betraying themselves. We are all at point in times in our lives going to be guilty of this particular situation because we feel we need approval. That's the problem sometimes that many people face. And when you allow these things to happen, it slows you down. You're never going to take it to that other place that you want to go because you're too busy worrying about people and what they're thinking about you instead of thinking enough about yourself. If you're worrying too much about the wrong things, then how can the right things be manifested within your life? Because if you think less of yourself, then less things are going to happen in your life. So you got to stand out a little bit. You got to take the necessary risk. You got to be able to get a little bit uncomfortable with yourself. There's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with being a little bit uncomfortable. There are actually people in the world that you see that are very comfortable. They're happy. They're satisfied. They have nothing else they need to do. They got everything that they can want in their lives. But here's the real, real challenge here, people. Everything that you see now may not be there the next day. And those people that you look into, the moment they get uncomfortable, they panic. Because all they know is, having a good time. I'm happy today. Sure, it's good to be happy, but sometimes you're gonna have those bad days and you got to know how to get through it. And this is when you will find out who you really are. What makes you different? What gets you to that next part in your life will determine how you respond to the challenges that you are facing right now. Don't be what others have already done. Don't be something that's already been made. With the millions and billions of people in the world, you have yet to show us that you have something to bring to the table too. You ask the question, who am I? Who are you? What are you? And what are you prepared to do with the rest of your life? Stand outside of yourself and take a good look. See it, know it, believe in it. So serve up that goodness, that quality that you possess inside because it is yours and no one can take it from you. The time is now for you to be original and not predictable. Go your own way, keep it moving, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business.